Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Into the Breach. We're just about to start a train defense mission. These are about as tough as anything in the game, to be honest. But here we go. Okay. So literally... Okay. I think either of those two can come over here and push him into the ocean. But he's the only one who... Crap. Hold on. Uh, if I punch him... Okay. I know what to do. If I come over here and I punch him, he's going to go under the tracks. Which really sucks. Because I can't have him blocking the track. So I would then have to use him to kill him. But that means this guy gets to take Oh God, he's going to either of them. <laughs> Actually, this would be the more important one to take out because he's going to kill both of these grid. Okay, this is just not acceptable. Um, he's like, you know what? This guy's only going to do one damage. I'm going to let it happen. Um, at least I think I am. Let's think about this for a second. If I don't move, I, I need minimal firepower to take this guy and push him over the edge. Like literally just boom, you're in the water. If I brought him here, it's not good enough. I'm going to punch him. But it'll do three damage total. So he'll still be alive. And he won't even have moved. And this guy will get to take his attack. Because he'll only take one damage. And between the two, that'll kill him. So that's not really good either. Uh, there is the pull tank. Boy, I tell you, this is a brutal setup for this first turn on the train. So let's say that I deployed the tank. That means I can't push him into the water, at least not with him. Supposing I brought him over. And we did that. And then I could, I could use the pull tank. How? I could pull this guy onto that. But this guy would hold on. I got it. We use the pull tank to pull the scorpion up here, which will free him. And then I can use that to push him. Wowza. Okay, let me, um, no, no, you don't want to be standing there, boy. I'm going to come here. I'll throw the pull tank here. Now, it's got to be up here. It's got to be. Move that here. So I kind of 
crossed over, obviously, from... Uh, oh, hell. It's two tiles. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to have to live with it. I just, like, can't really do too much about it, I think, at this point. So, here's the question. I need to push him back a tile. Or over a tile. That's what I'm going to have to do. So I have to come back here. I don't see this thing really helping that much. It's not going to kill this thing. So let's just do this. This is really bad though. Because we're barely killing anybody. And... Um, we got two more coming. Wow, that was an incredibly brutal turn. And I'm still... <sighs> Wait, it didn't... Oh, oh, it wasn't two tiles. It was just the other thing. Okay, okay, so we didn't take any new losses. All right, fair enough. My bad. I thought that was weird. I could have sworn he only had the one tile. When I pulled him up here, these were both highlighted, but that's because the thing down here was attacking it. So it just looked that way. I get it. I get it. Okay. So we got a bunch of stuff we're going to have to deal with. I need to try and get this guy over. See, it's really bad that the pull tank is up here. I had to do that to deal with him, but that is not helpful right now. So, man. Okay, him I don't have to worry about. But him I do. Him I do. So this is two, three, four. So I need each of my guys to manage somehow, some way to do that. And the problem is we're not well equipped. If I punch him here, he'll take two damage and he'll attack this thing. By the way, what's the order? Well, he would attack, but he's not going to kill it. And um, it'll push him into the train, which is really, really bad. If I come here with him, it's the same story. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Wait, does the train move first? No, it moves after all of them go. Well, okay. Suppose I bring him here and I punch this guy back one. Now it's blocking the train. But it's down to two health. This thing only does one damage. I tell you. Okay. I really need this guy to push back this, I feel. That's problematic in and of itself because normally I would hit this tile to push him back. I could use this, but... Let's see, what I would have to do is come here and target that. And then this guy would get pushed here. At least he'd attack this thing. 
but only after he'd already wrecked a building of mine. And actually, he'd kill it anyway, so that wouldn't even happen. But we can kill one guy. This is brutal. Um, <laughs> the pull tank cannot deal with this thing by himself. And if I, if I use him, I'm going to push him into that. Wow. This is just a horror show. So I kind of have the same issue with this guy, but worse. I literally don't even think I can take him. This setup is so, so bad for us. If I come here, I shoot him over, that saves that building. If only you were a push tank instead of a pull tank in this one instance. So I'm fine with this guy. Okay, at least the train is safe. Oh my God, man. Should I just try to kill? Should I just try to get some kills here? And basically say, screw, screw the grid. I can get these points back later and um, just worry about trying to thin this herd going into the last turn so we can get the train out of here and get our reputation. I think the pull tank is just going to get sacrificed. But I got to start getting some guys off the board. And I, I think... This is another thing. I, I'm honestly tempted to just spend his turn doing that. This won't kill him. It'll hurt him. It's just too freaking many guys. And I'm not even going to put much of a dent in them, to be honest. I can use his missile. And at least that'll kill the one guy. I could lose a building here. And I can lose the pull tank and that's it. Well, this is garbage, but I'm going to do it, I guess. And I look at this like I'm killing a guy because he won't come out next turn. Okay. And then I'm going to use the pull tank's pull. I'll at least do one point of damage on his way out. So... He makes somewhat of a noble sacrifice. I'm at full health, so I can't repair. What a horrible turn. <sighs> Maybe there's a solution. Like, seriously, if you saw something there, tell me in the comments. Because I just did my darndest to crack that puzzle and man I could not come up with it okay the good news is the train is pretty much fine um, I can just shoot him into the water or punch him into the water I think I'm gonna punch him in because I don't well I can get to this guy all right you know what I, this is a two for one that's too good to ignore. And then I just push this dude. Can I? 
Yes. Oh, wait, wait. Wait. I would want to push him down. So that means I need to hit that tile. I can't go far enough. Uh, how am I going to deal with him? Oh my god, and he does three damage. Even if I still had the missile, it wouldn't work because I'd have to fire here to kill him. And uh, that would destroy my own building. So, okay. Assuming I do this, I use him to punch these two. I can't, I can't get here because I would gladly at least hurt that dude. But I mean, I can't get anywhere near that far. So I come here, I, I kill, will kill both those guys. And I can use him to kill that. But... Oh wait, no, it'll, it'll ruin the defense lab. If I moved him here, I could fire at this spot and push him backwards. And the problem is like, I can't move here and shoot this tile to push him back because you can't fire at the tile right next to you. It has to be two tiles away. So this guy just gets to do what he wants to do? I think so. If I could have found a way to spare the pull tank and I moved him down here, then once these guys were gone, I could have pulled him. But let me, let me reset this one more time. But see, I can't get into a position that's going to let me do anything about him. This building is protecting him. And neither of the other two can get to where I could hurt him. He would be a higher priority target to me than this guy. And certainly than that guy. But it doesn't matter because I can't get to him. One, two, three. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. I might be able to now. Except I can't because it still does me no good. I'd be pushing him here and he'll just hit the stupid coal plant. See, now I won't actually do this, but... Yeah, it just changes target. Oh, that's so frustrating. And this poor guy... Alright, well, let's take care of the thing that I actually can do. So that's that done. Now, I can shoot him for one. That's completely ineffectual. The way this map is laid out up here and my limited mobility, it just makes it so hard. I need to be able to come here so that I could shoot this tile. So that mobility is really killing me. I think I may have to lose those missiles uh, if that's what it takes to get my extra move back. And I can't even come here and take the shot. I mean, it would kill him anyway, but yeah, we're just screwed. All right, well, listen, if the answer's not there, the answer's not there. I'm wasting time. But this, ah, oh, that is just punishing. Wow. My poor power grid. We were on a really nice roll there. And, um... But the funny thing is, again, if you saw something, then, then tell me. But I don't even see what I could have done differently. All right. 
Oh my gosh, I should have changed the thing and given him his mobility back. That was stupid. I was too preoccupied on um, what I was just talking about. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's put him down here. And uh, I'll put him here. Yeah, I... Um, I really need to prioritize that, uh, the mobility. So this is a really interesting map. Um, you have the terraformer. So as we go through, you use the terraformer and it'll turn these tiles into flat desert and it kills whatever's sitting on it. Now, the wonderful thing is they were kind enough to, um, fix it so I could only kill one of them, no matter which quadrant I target. So that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Um, I think... Oh, let's see. That guy... I would... Probably just shoot behind him, push him here, and that'll make his shot go there, and he'll block a spawn. I think I'm good with that. This thing I can get out of the way of, which will help a little, but I'm not loving that. Um... I could just blast this. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, I take it back. There's two guys here. I'm just going to do this now. Well, before I say that, how am I killing him or how am I dealing with him? Two, three, four. I don't think any of them can get back there, but he can move them. So I'm fine with that. Okay, let me go ahead and just do this then. All right. So now I don't have that distraction. So what I probably want to do is move him here and then push him this way. And for this guy... don't think I'm going to kill him, which is very unfortunate in my estimation. And if I'm not careful, right, let me come here and I'm going to punch him. And then I think I'll use him to just hit him. I want him as close to death as I can get him. And if I push him back, this guy will actually attack him. Perfect. That will be the killing blow. So let's do this first. And then I'm going to punch him. And then this is seemingly counterintuitive <laughs> because it's the spot he's attacking. Oh, I didn't bring out the pull tank. I'm okay with that. Okay. Which one goes first? That's fine. It doesn't matter that he gets to attack because he's going to hit nothing. All right. And there you go. So, we got this guy... Who, um, what does he do again? Doesn't he make them explode? Yeah, if I kill any of these, they'll explode. Which makes him a fairly high priority target. And I think this is another case where I'm prepared to just do this. And um, I can punch him back before I do. That'll kill him. The question is... Yeah, I can come here, block a spawn, and push him over to the side. 
I'm fine with this. So let's start off by doing this. And now we'll terraform. All right. And then, um, how do I want to do this? I don't really want to go on the fire. So using him probably isn't going to work. So I just come here. Oh, the smoke, the smoke. Hmm. Maybe I need to reset the turn because I could move him here and I could punch that. Now, the question is, how was I going to move the scorpion if he doesn't punch him? I guess I could have used his missile, which would have just killed it outright, because he wasn't going to be able, you know, I can't shoot through my guy. Yeah, okay. I mean, I can't afford to lose more grid power right now, so we'll use our turn reset. Fair enough. Okay, so I move him here. And I do this. Boy, one, two, three, four. I mean, it says he has... It says he has four movement down in the lower left. I hate that I can't, you know, see it, but I'm just going to do this and hope. I mean, I'm not really any worse off if it doesn't work, other than the fact that I wasted a one use, you know, per map item. Okay, so this definitely works. I can come over here. I can punch him. And then I can still terraform like I was going to. Now, unfortunately, oh no, I can. I can finish him. It just puts him in a fairly horrible position. But I think I want to do that. Oh, wait. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to launch the pull tank. Uh, I'm not going to block the spawn point because that doesn't seem like a great plan. I think I'll come here. And then I'm going to move forward okay all right let's see what happens so he shot at nothing and we're gonna have two new enemies and um, see so he's gonna fire in that direction Let's see what we can do here. I just need to be careful. So what's the attack order? All right. So this guy, if I use the pull tank to bring him over, he'll shoot at his own dude and kill it, I might add. But if I leave things as they are, um, I can't use him. So that's not great from that I could fire just to push him back into the smoke and then still push him over or pull him over I'm also seriously thinking about coming here I would lose the pull tank but we'll face one last guy and uh, you know next turn is the last anyway so trading him for one um, whole guy is not bad And then, I can't, unfortunately. I was going to try to bring him down low enough that I could just hit him, but I can't quite do it. That's unfortunate. Um, 
I, I don't want to let him shoot either. So I guess I'd be using him to just punch this and kill it. So I fire, push him back into the smoke. I kill him straight up with the punch. I pull this thing so he shoots and kills that. That means next turn, this is alive and whatever comes out of the ground here is alive. Actually, hang on a second though. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go a little different way, I think. Um, well, I guess I could still do this. Let's think. Come on, man. And I can't come back here. I have to terraform one of these two spots this turn and get the other one next time. So I'm just thinking, if I kill the scorpion with the terraformer, that would free him. He can move three spots. So I go one, two, three. And that means he could actually kill this guy. The problem is, unless I want to eat three damage, I have to punch him to the side and I don't... Yeah, I just use the pull tank. Okay. Using the pull tank though. Okay. Okay. I think I have a plan. And it's a little counterintuitive to me, but uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my pull car here. I am going to terraform this. And then I'm going to move my uh, tank up here. And I'm just going to use a punch to kill this guy. And basically the plan is we're going to both block both spawn points. The only thing that'll be left to deal with is this one guy. And I'm going to count on the fact that, you know, between our entire squad, we can do that. Now, this guy is not going to do anything productive this turn. Unfortunately, uh, he just had to go too far out of position last turn to really be much help. And next turn, the terraformer is unlikely to do anything meaningful because I have to do this area over here. Now, I'm not even going to use the pull necessarily because um, the problem is I really want to block this. And it, he will just die if he has to absorb that shot. Whereas, obviously, he will not. Now, I sure wish there was a way. In fact, there is. If I take a step, nope, now I'm going to get an extra spawn. Wow, so I'm going to take four damage. I'm going to be at one health. Okay. You need to get your butt up here. And of course, I won't have the pull tank after this. Okay, I don't know. This is a very unorthodox turn. I don't normally, you know, go out of my way to absorb this much damage. But I spent a lot of time trying to puzzle through that. And it was the one way. Okay, I was hoping this is how it would go. Uh, so first things first, there is no thought or strategy required here. So that's done. Now, I can easily just punch him to the side and he's no longer a threat. Except that I'm in smoke. <sighs> it's okay. I can use him. So let me, I need to do this now. Oh, 
doggone. I got to move him too. All right. I was hoping I could at least try to get some my licks in, but um, here. So I do this. Neutralize this attack. Just because I'm petty. Get my licks in. And um, he can't he can't do anything, so we're good. Wowza. Well that was really brutal i'm not gonna lie uh we did get one of our power grid back we're gonna get the grid back up i'm not honestly that worried about it we are going to have to go back to hq now uh, but boy those were a long couple of maps so i think i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for now uh before i forget though let me um we do have a reactor core, so maybe what I do is I go ahead and invest one more. Boy, I'm really, really putting that in there. They, they both need it so badly. I mean, they really do. The, the three is just not adequate. I'm really tempted to disable this thing. It is useful, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I think in the short term, I kind of want that more. And let's do buildings immune because that will let me target one of our buildings without wrecking it to push them back, as you see there. Uh, so we'll come back to this, I'm almost certain. But I think right now, eh, maybe not. Um, that means I could go ahead and install one on him. And get him up to four. And I think I'm gonna. Alright. So hopefully that'll give us a better chance in corporate HQ. And uh, I think today, if nothing else, you get a chance to really see how some of these situations you get into. It's just like fiendishly complex. Uh, for me at least, trying to see the solution and how you can minimize damage. And you know what damage to accept if you can't prevent all of it. At any rate, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.